Ooh, it's a cold ride. I've had to stop every now and again just because my fingers are going numb. So I'm out in the middle of nowhere. There's no internet and no telephone reception here. And it's very remote. The perfect time for a cuppa. Oh yeah. Woo! Well, I'm in the Mallee. Uh, the Mallee is basically uh, the scrub desert country. Yeah, millions of square kilometres of it. And it's, uh, it's a bit cold. I think I've already said that. <laughs> but yeah, it has a beauty of its own, I suppose. Feels pretty isolated out here. No internet connection, no phone. I know Jenny sent me a message earlier on and she's probably a little bit worried about me, but nothing I can do until I reach civilization, which is only about 60 k's away down the road at the moment. Oh, all right, I'll get back on the road. I'm here in Pinaru and I've just booked a room in this pub. I was going to go all the way to Renmark today, but it's just too cold to keep going. Oh, so I'll warm up here and have a hot shower and a hot meal. And I'll explore Pinaru. It's quite a fascinating little town. Hopefully I'll meet some characters. And uh, yeah. Well, I'll go and park the bike and I'll show you my room. I've booked a room in the Golden Grain Hotel here in Pinaru. Ah, she's a really old building. But I've got a lovely room. It's got good vibe about it. <laughs> and it also has this lovely sitting area and TV. Hi folks. All right, let's have a bit of a look around town. It's a really beautiful town. Tonight it's gonna to get down to minus one degree and they're expecting frost in the morning. So I think I'll be hanging around for a little bit for the sun to break through and warm the day up a little bit before I continue on to see Bob. Now I should tell you that the whole reason for this journey is to go and see Bob. See Bob. It sounds like a word in itself. Bob is an old friend of mine. I met him busking in Mildura. And he and his wife uh, took me in and fed me as the weary traveller. And uh, a little while ago, Bob's wife passed away. Bob is legally blind and he's living alone. Now I haven't seen him for a couple of years so I figured that's a good reason to go. Go and see Bob. So a bit later in this video I'll be introducing you to him when I finally get there. He's still about 140, 150 kilometers away from where I am. But Pinaru, I'm glad I get the opportunity to stay here for an evening because it really is a lovely little spot and I'm staying at the Golden Grain Hotel down there on the corner. Uh, it also gives me a chance to have a hot meal there and to um, maybe meet a couple of locals or travellers. Yeah, and have a couple of beers. Mm -mm. All right, ever onward. Ah, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Well, they'll actually uh, open up the museum by, by appointment. That's pretty cool.
Yeah, we're in the Mali. All right. I think I need to get warm. I'll go and sit in the pub. Okay, um, and just to give you a bit of perspective, I've travelled from here to here. <laughs> yeah, all right. And here's the um, steak at the Renmark. Oh, sorry, the, the, the golden grain at Pinaru. That's a decent steak. 20 bucks. No worries. <laughs> so I'm at the, uh, the, the, what is it? The Golden, <laughs> Golden, Golden Grain. The Golden Grain Hotel here. And I've met Pete. Now, right. Pete, you're, you're embarking on a motorcycle yes, adventure yourself, yes, sir. Yes, on the 4th of June. Uh, where, where are you going to go, buddy? All the way up north. We're gonna go. Yeah. Um, all the way from here, Adelaide, Adelaide, all the way up to Kakadu National Park. Oh my God, that's a big ride, man. That's yeah, a that's big ride. Be awesome. And also, you're you're working on the road crew. <laughs> yes. Uh, fixing up the road between here and Renmark. Yes, we do. And I'm going to be travelling through there. Well, we'll see on the side of the road, mate. All right. So you look out for that little pizza bike coming past. Oh, we'll do. Uh, and um, I'll stop and I'll stop and uh, have a uh, chat. Well, well, I'll have a vape. And you can have a cigarette. Oh, that's no. it. Do you smoke? Yes, I do. Oh, all right. Well, I'll stop for a smoke over with you. No worries. All right. That's nice good. to meet you, Pete. Good, good, good on you, buddy. Oh, well, it was great to catch up with a, a few people that are working uh, in town and a couple of people that are locals. And it was a fabulous meal. It's a great hotel. This is the Golden Grain Hotel in Pinaru, and I can't recommend it enough. The portion sizes in the meals are fantastic and very cheap as well <clears throat> $25 for my meal tonight and I can't complain it's a meal that would have cost me 40 bucks in another pub and also the beer was really cheap too um, $6.50 a beer fantastic uh, look uh, I'm not here to uh, recommend hotels and, and talk about the price of beer and meals but yeah it does make a difference all right see you guys Ah, what a difference a night makes. I've woken up to this beautiful morning. Blue sky from horizon to horizon. And a rather curious thing. There's all these sort of melon things on the side of the road. They look like miniature watermelons. Some of them are rotting away, of course. But I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're edible. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. And while you're at it, how about subscribing to the channel? All right, I've got uh, about 140 kilometers to go until I get to Renmark and meet up with Bobby. And I'll sign off now. I think there's a truck coming. I'm in a little outback town called Peruna. And here's the general store. Uh, it's also the pub. <laughs> Let's go and have a look. So you can get a hot cup of coffee and your pies and whatnot. And out the back here, here we go. Probably Australia's cutest little pub. <laughs> I don't know if they've got a pool table. 
There's the kitchen area in there. I'll best leave that alone. Hey, thanks for letting me have a look around. And what was your name? Kyra. Sorry? Kyra. Kyra. Very pleased to meet you, Kyra. Yeah. Kyra. I want to stay warm. Will do. Thanks a lot. Very friendly lass, and she makes a great cup of coffee. Oh. Time to keep travelling up the road. Time to say goodbye to Peruna and Brown Wells. But have a look at that. That's the council chambers. Yeah. Very civilised. Okay, I've had to make a little repair. What's happened here is the um, uh, the front basket, a weld has broken and it's snapped off. The whole thing is wobbling. I've tightened it up as much as I can with an Oki strap. I'll see if I can get that fixed in Renmark. Hmm. Okay, well it's a bodge job, but uh, we'll see how far I get. Well, I stopped at a hardware store and got some zip ties, um, that's helped a lot. Uh, it's quite sturdy now, but I expect them to snap, but I, the good thing is I do have lots of more zip ties. I can just keep replacing them until I get a more permanent fix. That ought to do it. Well, I made it out of the desert, and here's the Murray River. This river flows all the way back into Victoria and um, I'm going to be following it when I start my journey home again. It's a beautiful river. We'll get some fishing done for sure. That looks like a bob. How are you, man? Good, mate. Yourself? Well, apart from arthritis, I'm not bad. <laughs> How are you, man? Oh, so oh, good to see you. Great to see you, buddy. <laughs> oh man, I, I, when you said you were at Locks, I go, that man's flying. <laughs> yeah. hey. Well, come and have a look at my machine. Oh, what a beauty, mate. Yeah. I saw it on the clip, you know, on your first trip, clip that you did. It's, wow, that, that is some machine, man. It's something, isn't it? Well, no wonder you can get around. Strange and wonderful. It's basically <laughs> a motorbike. Well, I guess so. It's basically a lawnmower, actually, I think. A lawnmower on wheels. <laughs> yeah, lawnmower <laughs> engine, that's right. And uh, he is a Romeo, and he's a beauty, mate. He's... And have you ever seen a cat with that sort of colours? Yeah, strange, with the tabby tail and the um, snow white. And, and they're all from the same mother and father. Yeah. And they're all different. I've got three. Well, Bobby, let's get inside and start um, catching up, eh? Hey? Yeah, mate. Um, Good on you, mate. It's fucking... Oh, oh, excuse is... my language. Oh, no, mate. see you. Between us, mate, you're allowed to say anything you like, mate. I love you, brother. I love you too, mate. You're fantastic. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs>